Hello, you are beautiful movie lovers. My name is Louis, a gay movie fandom, and today we are talking about the new South Park special, South Park Not Suitable, suitable for Children. And now, uh, this was an unexpected drop. This basically dropped yesterday, but it came out in the UK just now, so I finally watched it. The T the trailer for this just came out of nowhere yesterday, and it was unexpected because I was just expecting it to just be the Pandaverse to be the only special this year. So, okay, so we're not getting any other part two or whatever this year with the contract or whatever, uh, but looks like we are. Um, so, yeah. Um, anyways, I just watched it, and uh, as usual, it does star Matt Stone and Trey Parker, and is obviously written by, as obviously directed by Trey Parker. Parker, and after it's discovered that a teacher in South at South Park <laughs> Elementary has an OnlyFans page, Randy is compelled to take a closer look at the CD un underbelly of the world of online influencers. Which, to be exact, that synopsis isn't really that great with it, to be uh, honest with you. Because uh, it's not really that much about it. Um, I don't know, it's just something that kind of annoys me with... Uh, things that do it like that, as in, like, they'll have, um, what, uh, have a story that's mainly marketing, but it's mainly focusing on, uh, another part, and this is mainly making fun of Prime with it, with cred, you know, stuff like energy drinks and influencers, and I really loved this special. To me, that I loved, I mean, it's near to great, I don't think it's as great, it is kind of a little confused with what it's trying to do, but even with that, I do think it is really funny. I thought it was obviously another great, uh, South Park special slash movie, um, and yeah, uh, it is is basically 46 minutes off um, South Park, basically giving some commentary on stuff, and with a lot of humor with it, and with that, it's not preachy or outdated, like, um, an an another show that, um, I used to love a lot. A lot in fact. Anyways, let's, um, uh, yeah, moving on, but anyways, yeah, uh, obviously the animation itself, it does have its charm, it's really great, but how about the comedy in here? Well, yeah, the comedy is obviously as great as usual, with obviously great commentary with influencers and energy drinks in general, and I just love that they make fun of Logan Paul with calling him Logan Ladish, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it was pretty funny in it, he wasn't in it that much, which I actually did like that with it. Um, uh, definitely an issue I do have with it, it's it's pacing, it does feel like it was wrapping up, which admittedly, I was feeling kind of sad that it was, but then it just did feel complete, and yeah, I did like that, but admittedly it does kind of feel a little confused with its pacing, but even with that, it is still really great with its commentary, uh, and humor, obviously, the voice acting is great with, um, some other characters in here, uh, yeah, um, also we got a lot of shots of Randy's, you know what, I was not expecting that much off it. But anyways, yeah, those are um, what I mainly have to say about uh, this new South Park special. Uh, I would recommend it for you. I don't really have that much to say about it other than it's great as normal South Park stuff. has great commentary. And while I still do prefer the Pandaverse, I do still really like this. Uh, it is on Paramount Plus, obviously, which I would recommend if you uh, want to watch it. And anyways, I'm going to give South Park Not Suitable for Children a B plus. So those are my thoughts on this special slash movie. What did you think of it? Did you love it? Ate it? Let's agree, disagree. Down below in the comments, go and tell me. My next review will be for the new Aquaman movie. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, stay awesome.